How do you add a stroke outline to a selection? So I'm going to show you a little something here. If I wanted to add a stroke outline around this uh, canvas, right? And it, But it's inside the canvas a little bit. The first thing I would do is Command or Control A to select all. So right now I have a selection made of the entire canvas. I would go to Select, come down here to Modify, Contract, and bring that selection in by something like, let's go 20 pixels so we can really see it. Press OK and, OK, maybe not. How about we bring that selection in again, contract, and we make sure to apply effect at canvas bounds, hit OK. Now it brings it in, so sometimes you gotta check mark that. OK, so we have this selection now that's inside of the edge of our canvas, and if I wanted to add a stroke right there, what I would do is go to Edit down to fill, actually not fill, down to stroke. I was thinking fill with stroke, but yeah. So we're going to go to stroke, and then we're going to decide what's the width of the stroke. We'll go with 10 pixels, that's fine. Do we align it to the inside? Sure, why not? And we're going to hit OK to that. And that added a stroke to the outline of this selection. Now, I added it to the inside. You could add it to the center, or you could add it to the outside of your selection. Any of those works. Now to deselect, Command or Control D, that shortcut key is up here, Command D or Command A. It's also Control D, Control A. I would remember those for quick selections of all and deselect. But anyway, now we've got that stroke in here. Now how would I really do it? That's a good question. Well, I don't like creating pixels in my Photoshop documents. Maybe in this case you would, but I would also maybe just create a rectangle, right? Create it the size of my canvas, 1920 by 1080, and then say if I wanted that inside the edges by 20 pixels around every edge, then I would subtract 40 from this. So I'd actually make this 1880 by, oh, I don't know, 1040, and I would hit OK. And so now I've got this guy out here. I would press Command A, remember that shortcut key? Or Control A. I would center him, and then I would, uh, well, I would switch the fill to a stroke. We'll make it pink so we can see it. And then I could increase that stroke by whatever amount that I want. I could make sure it's on the inside of the stroke, just like this. And now I've effectively done the same thing, except this is an editable rectangle instead of putting the pixels on there. Now, sometimes you do need to put pixels in. In this instance, I just wanted to show you what I would do for this specific example that I gave. But there's other times where you might be creating an outline around a person or something and you have that selection made. And that's, that's something you could do. Although I would argue, once again, I would just create a stroke effect, layer effect around that. I have an outline video on that on the main channel. So I'll link that down below if that's something you're trying to do. But regardless, that edit, stroke, applying that to a selection, that's how you can do that here in Photoshop.